Good morning, folks. Today we'll have a look at the sun and cover the recent story about the heat wave in Jupiter's atmosphere, what it is, what it means, and the Earth corollary. But we are starting with our star, and we find the last day stamped silence on the sunspots. One M-class flare that didn't produce much of an eruption, that Earth-facing solar quiet, continues. The sunspots continued to lack significant mixing or internal movement. As they turn through central longitudes, we see two newer active regions behind it, Quick note for veteran observers, we are entering that quieter period between the 5.9 month cycle upticks, next one due February of March of next year, but we'll still be monitoring anytime the sunspots appear. Okay, let's go to this story and it made big headlines last month. It took a while to unpack the data and many of you have had questions about it. Jupiter's atmosphere, which is modeled to be negative 90 degrees, is actually hundreds of degrees, with waves reaching 700 degrees. Major shock to astronomers. And traveling from the poles to the equator at thousands of miles per hour. Well, I have no idea why this is huge news this year, because it was huge news last year. Many of you will recall this animation. It is from last year, showing how the auroral heating from the solar wind interaction caused phenomenal heat waves to surge through Jupiter's atmosphere. What we got recently was merely a confirmation of what many of you observers have already seen. The importance of this Jovian feature is that it's not unique to Jupiter. Earth has pulled to equator forcing too. EGU conference earlier this year featured several studies on how the solar wind excitement of the aurora at Earth transfers down to low latitudes. These equatorward traveling waves have been the focus of several studies we've shared with you here on this morning's show, dozens actually, and I'll show just a few of them here. This low latitude forcing from high latitude excitement is a key driver of how solar wind interaction with the Earth does much more than create the auroras. It affects the atmosphere across the entire world. So well described and understood now, we had to get this animation created to show it for our planet. Even though they are primarily noticed in the upper atmosphere, the atmosphere is a global electric circuit with up and down energy exchanges through the pressure cells, and which affect the clouds, precipitation, wind, and temperature all the way down to the surface. In our most recent book, The Observer's Supplement, we dive into this equatorward forcing in Chapter 2. And if you want 300 pages and 500 citations on solar forcing of the Earth's weather and long-term climate, we are now restocked on Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. All of our books, children's books, and much more are found by clicking the links in the video description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.